I'll talk about Vanquish and Rapid uh, together in the first in instance. So this was the major program for me and my team uh, this year. Um, best described as its 15 model year for these two programs was a major technical update of the underneath of the car, the drive line, the suspension, etc. So basically an under the skin change. But we've also done some exterior changes to, to broaden the appeal in terms of wheel finishes, wheel styles, bespokeness in terms of quilting on the interior of the um, interior of uh, Rapid particularly. Main change was 6 litre naturally aspirated V12s in both of them. Uh, technical update to 552 brake horsepower on Rapid and 568 brake horsepower, a small increase uh, on Vanquish. Both resulted in over 200 miles an hour again products. So every program I dealt with last year other than little GT um, was a 200 mile an hour car which is fantastic for me and my team. Both shave naught to six, uh, half a second over there naught to 60 times. So Vanquish is down to 3.6 naught to 60 quicker than V12 Vantage S. And uh, again that you, you can really feel that. So we've increased the power, increased the torque by 10 newton meters on both cars. The big news is a 10% drop in um, our fuel economy. So we've improved the efficiency of these cars. So how have we, how have we done that? Really, it's the AM29 engine. So it's the sister engine to the engine that you see in the V12 Vantage S. We've uh, applied a Bosch engine management system to this, which gives a faster fueling time, a faster processing time in terms of how the car uh, interacts with uh, what the engine and the road and the user is actually telling us. But the big change was the adoption and integration of the 8-speed ZF 8-speed gearbox for us. It's the first application in a rear transaxle, axle uh, rear uh, transmission layout with our transaxle system. So again, V12 engine, front face of block is about here, just ahead of the front wheel. But again, the transmission is from here onwards basically. So again, within the wheelbase, keeping the mass concentrated and, and low, which is great for handling. Like I said, both 200 mile an hour cars. Um, Rapide for us is, it's a more usable sports car. It still has to be a sports car. Um, but the great thing about it is, you've got two rear doors. You have more usable space in the boot. It's a hatch. So still keeping that sports car credentials, but offering the consumer something that they can't get with a two plus two or a two seater. Um, so again, try and get yourselves in the back of these cars through your, throughout your drives as well. And you know, it's quite, I, I was driving one of these a few weeks ago and I opened the rear door and someone didn't realize the rear door was there. Oh, it's got rear seats. Yeah, fantastic. I can get in. Uh, and my, my young family have got three children, love this car. Absolutely love this car. Not only uh, have we put the 8-speed gearbox in, which gives us greater efficiencies, it's 3% lighter. Uh, it fits in the existing package of the existing 6-speed that some of you might have driven on 14 model year launch. Again, those small increases, um, well 10% isn't small in terms of efficiency, have come from the adoption of the gearbox, the engine, the engine management system, but also we've put uh, low rolling resistance tyres on all our vehicle range now. Again, tiny little increments but are greater than the, uh, the sum. That's it for Rapide and we'll move on to the halo of our range which is Vanquish.